Good morning, everyone. This is Daniele Capazzone, the Watcher Post, a view from Italy, from the Utopia Studios in Rome. So, finally, a debate has started. Finally, a discussion has begun about the opportunity to reopen the country, about the opportunity to unlock the country once again and to let shops and businesses be open up once again. Uh, today, Prize, Prime Minister Mario Draghi is supposed to give a press conference in which he might put down in black and white a calendar, a political schedule to reopen once again the country. We wish so. Uh, several factors have pushed in that positive direction. On the one hand, the, mon the, most the most important point from my perspective is represented by the polls. According, by the, according to the polls, 70% of the Italian electors are fed up with, are sick of, are tired of the existing restrictions and would like these restrictions to be eased or even lifted. Second, there has been a political initiative by Matteo Salvini, by Forza Italia, by some members, reforming members of the Partito Democratico, and also by uh, regional governors who are pushing to reopen the country. Third, there have been some important demonstrations organized by uh, owners of restaurants and shops keeper, shopkeepers who are desperate for their situation and fourth and this is even more important so many commentators think that Mario Draghi himself is aware that he has in some way to keep at a distance from the narrative the storytelling and the political influence of his health secretary Roberto Speranza but what's the problem from our perspective I'm not sure that the whole political system is fully aware of what is really happening. Last year, 2020, 300,000 business was forced to shut down. This year, the same and even worse may happen. And when the uh, red light will go green, we will have a tsunami of layoffs. So we will have millions of job uh, uh, losses. Um, and what is even more worrying is that all of the existing uh, welfare uh, programs are not designed and not focused on that emergency, which is represented by self-employed, uh, small businesses. If I am a hairdresser, a 50-year-old hairdresser, I have been a hairdresser for 35 years. Now I'm losing my job. You cannot tell me, okay, guy, please go green, go digital, take up a digital job. That's crazy, of course. That's totally uh, uh, indefensible. The Italian society is going to be bitterly divided into three parts. Uh, big companies who are strong enough, luckily, to resist and to go on, uh, civil servants who are safe and sound, and small businesses and self-employed who are going to be terribly hit. That's why we strongly urge the government, on the one hand, to put down in black and white, uh, appropriate uh, welfare plans to uh, let people who, uh, loses, who lose their job to improve their skills. But the most important measures are, first, measures directed uh, to help existing businesses not to shut down. And second, if a business shuts down, you have to provide uh, uh, low taxes, low regulation to help those entrepreneurs start a new business. A, a, a strong and, vi and vibrant recovery can only be a private sector-led recovery. This is what we wish. Thank you for this week. Have a nice weekend. See you next Friday here from A View from Italy.